Uh, Sunday afternoon, homestand closer from Camden Yards. Last of seven games in a row here at Oriole Park, a little league day. Thousands of kids parading around the field before the game and crammed in to see the Rays and the O's. Field, getting the ball in the air more. We talked about it yesterday. We continue to see it. And there's a soft liner in the center falling in for a base hit. He'll make the turn at first. And Kiermaier is aboard to begin this game. Well, Spencer Watkins trying to come up and in with a cutter. There goes Kiermaier, and the pitch is lined into center. Kiermaier's going to go to third. Mullins up with the ball in center. First and third. Nobody out for the Rays in the first. You know what the sandbagger, Rosa Reina, is going to tell you? I do. Up the middle, right back off the pitcher, Watkins. Picked up by Reyes. The throw finally to first. Not in time. That ball shot right back at Watkins. Kiermaier scores. Trying to get out number one. Fly ball back into left field. That left field is deep now and it's playable. Caught by the left fielder Santander. And the throw into second from the uh, cutoff man. And so advancing to third to Rosarena Choi up to second. They've scored one run already. Ruhan a ground ball backhanded down to first. The throw to the plate's going to be in time. Or Rosarena tagged out with Mountcastle making the throw down to Chirinos at the plate. Yeah, and that. That's a drive back into deep left down the line. That's got a chance and that baby's gone. Home run off the bat of Paredes. He took that one down the line. And the Rays cash in on one swing of the bat from Paredes. That's his third. Paredes coming off the two home run game in the Detroit series on Wednesday. A 4 nothing ball game. Well, you feel a lot better about this inning. The way that it started, the way that the Rays were pushing the Orioles to come away with just one run would have been a disappointment. Uh, Isak Paredes made sure that that did not happen. That ball was crushed. Justice, how, how quickly it gets back. That's a liner into left, going to fall for a base hit. And Phillips is aboard. So the Rays continue here. And Zanino waves and misses. Eight men come to the plate for the Rays. And they break out in front. An RBI single by Choi off Watkins that knocked him out. Paredes hit the three run home run. Follow Rutschman if anybody reaches. And Trey will fist one on a hop to second and Bruhan for the out. And we are now pleased to be joined by Orioles general manager. Yeah, the games have been tight and the, the, the as you alluded to the pitching has been much more competitive this year. <laughs> There's a base hit for Santander an opposite field single in the third. And I think the, the best way that I could put it uh, following up on the, the stations in terms of that since joining the organization. So. Um, very, Ooh. very pleased to have him up here now. And we'll get to see him bat as Mountcastle walks. Um, just one last. First for our next home game. So uh, we just decided let's, he's ready, let's go. This is in the year to left field from Rutschman. A Rosarena a long way in. He made the catch in fair territory. He'll throw behind it second, but Santander is in. And a fading fly ball caught by a Rosarena for the second out. Yeah, it's a big question. Uh, you know, I mean, again, this is could be a double very easily. But uh, when you look at Tampa Bay, you know, it's not a high payroll. I mean, maybe it's a model in a sense. You know, you can't compete with the Yankees and the Red Sox in the 250 range. It's how that organization has been built, and it really started. Arias into left field. That's a base hit. Santander waved Tom Arozarena's throw will be cut off. There's an RBI single for Ramon Urias coming through with a runner in scoring position. And the Orioles are on the board. Yeah, couldn't do it. Really excited. Seems like every outing has been better in terms of stuff. 
This is drilled to right field. Odor with another base in. That will bring in Mountcastle. Arias flying to third. Odor head first into second, and he kept the foot on the bag. Two doubles in two innings for Rootnet Odor, and the O's have sliced the lead in half. He's got to be pleased when he gets balls. I mean, you know a left-hander that doesn't like the ball down and in? And he just screams it into the corner. Phillips can play, but they beat the throw. Hope you're not busy. You might have to stay the rest of the game now. You know that. I, I love coming for long <laughs> Orioles hitting innings. So this is great. Kyle, did I predict? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not here to break any news. I, I know. I, 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 well, I said that. Talking a lot today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Into left field. Oh. Rosarena took it away from Chiritos. That would have tied the score. Well, that was an eventful third inning, Mike Elias. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, yeah congratulations. Uh, Thank nice, you. nice to see Adley up here. Nice to see you guys in person. Thanks. Always got a couple of runs, but a Rosarena robs two more. It's 4 2. And what is your strength? It's high to Phillips, a leadoff walk in the Tampa Bay fourth. He got him swinging. You see, there's the good one. The illusion is it's going to stay in the zone. Phillips on the run. This ground ball hit to second. And the only play is at first. Yeah, the uh, Oriole infield does a nice job of holding their positions, even though Phillips is running. I mean, because it's easy to do. Kiermeyer on another 0 2 oh, pitch goodness. into left yeah. field. Kevin Kiermeyer seems to thrive when he's down 0 2 in the count. Another 0 2 hit for him. He's had a couple in this series. And he brings. Rosarena takes a call. Third strike. Couple of K's on cutters for Baker. Any of the typical Braves pitchers that come up, he knew how to pitch. Mountcastle out to center field. Well struck. Kiermeyer at the wall. And he couldn't rob it. He tried his darndest. And he's robbed more than a few over the years. But Mountcastle got him for a solo shot. Ryan with his fifth of the season, and it's five to three. Well, the Orioles Santander hit one to tie the game up. It wasn't five to two. This one now five to three, but it was two one, and he hit. This is not straight away, but it's a breaking ball. This is when you're strong. Outside thing, and you know Kevin plays deep. He's got tremendous speed and just over the glove. Ryan Mountcastle happy about that. Hit by pitch, flight out to left. And Adley into center field. Doesn't matter how many outfielders there are. Put six of them out there if you want. Adley Rutschman with his second hit in the big leagues. Single in his last at bat. And he will pop one up here. Choi charging. He'll put it away. Old out of left field. You know, you have to use the left field, and this ball popped up. Should be playable. And he said, the other thing is, he also taught me, he said, early in the count, you want to hit the breaking ball that starts at you, and that was the first. This is a ground ball into the shift, and it is kicked by Bruhan, and Chirinos has reached base on an error for the second time against Rayleigh. Well, you know, the ball hit sharply. And he pops one up. Walls out. A Rosarena in from deep left field. Walls made the catch with a Rosarena crashing into him from behind. Crazy. Little tapper up the first base side, and it skips right by Mountcastle. Kiermaier's going to dig for two as Mountcastle runs it down, and he winds up at second base. Well, when that ball bounced, Baker, who followed Crable, who followed Watkins, there's a soft liner in the left for a base hit. They're going to wave Kiermaier to the plate. He will score easily, and the Rays do take advantage of the error as a Rosarena with a soft liner in the left drives in the run. There goes a Rosarena. The pitch is a strike. The throw one hops in, and a Rosarena. 
is in with a stolen base. And Joy. And Randy. Now here's Ramirez with a tap to third scoop by Reyes. And so in the opening game, eight to six. Roller to the left side comes up for Urias who bobbles it in the throw. Oh, out the call. That was close over there. And Ruhan is out number three. The Rays. That's lifted into center field. Kiermaier is going to go to the track and he'll have some room. Trying to get the measure of that wall out there to see if he's going to have to leap or not. And he, he had a little. Uh, Down to first, a hop to Choi. And that's out number two. And apparently, if you. Little looper, that's going to drop for a base hit. Picked up on a couple hops by Kiermeyer. Reyes has his second hit of the game. Seven innings, three runs on Wednesday. Odor to the right side into the shift. Oh. Ruhan kicks another, his second error of the game. Yeah, and I don't know if they're routine because Odor, Odor runs pretty well. So you're playing out of the ground. And all on Chirinos. He hammers this one to left field, and a Rosarena is there, and he dropped it again. No way. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That. Robinson oh. Chirinos has found his new winning strategy. <laughs> Just planted in a Rosarena's glove. It's six to four. Well, he's made two really lost it in the crowd. Look at that ball. Is, you know, or maybe who hits his right hand. Another pop up. Let's see. <laughs> oh, this is Walls. It's a done deal. <laughs> He's the one guy you don't want to hit it to today. An unearned run, and the O's are back within two. Three in one week. I wonder where your offense is. He's standing at home plate along with a Rosarena. Rose He's got good bat speed. Mateo way out in left field. Pop up off that 99 mile an hour heater for the first out. At fastball. Another three ball count for Phillips. And he was sitting on the fastball and he does skewer it to right field. The big day continues for Phillips who has himself a second double a third hit and a fourth time on base. Man he gets to see what about seven pitches. On a three two for the powerful Zanino. Bautista got his man. Couldn't hold up on the slider strike three and a big one. A really good one. Felix Bautista. And he struck him out. High heat, high rider. Little gas right here. Try to hit 99. Watch this ball. <laughs> Throws it right by Walls to the catcher. We play on. And Mountcastle hits one into center. Kiermeyer charging in, sliding, and he could not make the catch. And that means Adley Rutschman will have a chance to do something awfully special. That's in Triple A Norfolk this week. And Rutschman skies one to the left side. Walls is out there, the shortstop. He puts it away for a massive first out. The tying run, Arias will take ball four. And the Orioles are going to bring the winning run to the plate with only one out. It's three and two to Odor. Tying runs in scoring position. And he pops one up to third, and Paredes makes the catch. I don't know why Andy Fletcher called an infield fly there. Their runners on second and third. <laughs> but it's this on a night where there seemingly have been no quick innings. Hayes in the left field. Oh, base hit. This game is tied. A lightning strike off the bench with two outs and two strikes in the ninth. Austin Hayes comes through. Well, you know, he was talking when you see pitchers, seventh inning breaking ball. Check this one out. Right down the middle, left center. 
Really good pitch to hit, and he doesn't miss it. Simple as that. For the first time since it was nothing, nothing, and is Bill Welke? Yep, he's going to call for the tarp. Here comes the rain. Uh, Got to protect the field. The Orioles protect their uh, two run deficit with a clutch base hit by Austin Hayes. So Brandon Hyde's learning how to manage. Kept him around, let him rest, and then send him in at the, exactly the right time. For six, can be the hero. He grounds one to the right side. Bruhan is there, and we are not done. You didn't think this game was going to end in nine, did you? There's at least one more chapter to write in the tent. In the bottom of the tent, they want to get a run on the board. And there's a little flare in the left field. Hayes coming on. That's in between Hayes and Mateo. And a base hit. So Ramirez to third. He had to hold up there. And That's where you end up losing these games. He struck him out with a high fastball. Yeah, you know, the, the three run home run was on a hanging slider. Perez got him swinging. Broncos arguing that he tipped the ball. Bill Wilkie says, no, you did not. Back to back strikeouts with runners at the corners and nobody out. Off of left handers. A ground ball from Zanino. Owings, the new third baseman, goes to second. And how did he do that? CNL Perez and Adley Rutschman fired up. The O's can win it with one. At some point, I think it was in the seventh inning two nights ago. He lays down a beaut. Great butt by Owings. Rutschman to third, winning run 90 feet away. So Owings, uh, just to finish it, he was on 2 2. He hits it on the ground. It sneaks through. Oh my goodness, what a win! Down to their final strike and out in the ninth. Hayes ties it. Odor wins it in the 11th. Rutschman the winning run in his second big league game. Gatorade for all. The O's win the series in crazy dramatic fashion. Well, Mr. Friday night, you know, with a two run walk off home runs, and then Mr. Sunday afternoon just by making contact. Kind of get. So here it is. There's your change up. Trying to get the short hop, doesn't get the short hop because you, you better pick it up and make a perfect throw. I you was know, thinking today, Choi got a couple of hits and all that, but he hasn't really had to make a play the entire series. And he does it this afternoon.